I want to show you the basement part of a steam cover in the hot water um, heating system. Okay, basically we just have a 85% uh, uh, boiler here. Um, we added a couple of controls on here because the boiler was a little too big on the application. Um, we also added a larger pump to move the water a little bit better. But this is not the location of the original steam boiler. So we moved it so the water can get the flu to a place where we can get it outside. As you can see here we have one expansion tank. Um, all the big piping was ripped out. You can see the big piping there, we reduced it down to a smaller piping. Um, mainly because we ripped all the uh, yield boiler around. And a lot of mouths over here, more mouths, and we attach all to the old piping here. But what we notice is the light there, it's going to add valves in places where you can drain out different parts of the system because it takes a little finesse to get these things working. Okay? Sorry, I'm going to show you over here. We added another expansion tank because the system would not the pressure going up too much. So we added an expansion tank there. And the main one I can buy. We put that in. And uh, it's part of the problem you're gonna you know conversion like this you're gonna have to do. Um, we have a couple leads over here that we can add on. Alright I'm gonna show you a little bit over here where the original motor was located. You guys, you see the old boiler, that was a $10,000 uh, $10, job they charged a lane to do that. And uh, it's practically brand new. Steam boiler. I can't remember the meat to use, I think it was $350,000. But that's a brand new steam boiler. I think it ran for two years. And it was in this area right here. You can see where it goes here. Pretty much took on this whole room. So it, it filled this whole room up. And then we ripped it apart, ripped the piping apart, got rid of it. It was costing way too much to, you know, heat the house and steam boiler. And you see we added numerous furnaces um, to the movies. But this is the basement part. Um, I'm going to need to take you upstairs and I'll show you what we had to do in the radiators and get those to work as a hot water radiator. So all the pipe view is reduced, which is good. You have to get all that water up. Show you one more time. You can see the original pump is right there. At this point it's shut off. It's just, we use it as a backup now. We have the larger tanko pump. Uh, you push water through the radiators. Because there, there is restriction on the uh, steam traps. So, the, um, we need a little bit more of a pump and it's a large system. So we add this pump on. But you can use any kind of boiler you want. I like the 85,000 or the 85 percent uh, very little maintenance on these units.
because you're embarrassed me and I need to break up the old boiler system. And this boiler runs to the second floor radiators. That's the only uh, radiators that we left in place and had to find a way to put it in the second. Um, the first and the third are like 95% furnaces to the job. I believe the budget amount was over six hundred dollars here, six forty. So um, I do know that that was a budget amount. So they were probably getting twelve hundred dollar gas bills in another winter. And we slashed that in half. I believe we're around three hundred dollars for the budget amount. So That's the first part of the uh, steam or hot water conversion from steam. And the next thing I'll do is take you up into the second floor and show you what we had to do in the radiators to convert them from steam to hot water. Thanks.